Fermanagh, full of lakes and forests. It's a designated area of beauty. Have many of you been there? Well, I'm from Fermanagh, and although it is the smallest populated county in Northern Ireland, it is no less important than the other five. Yet for those of us from Fermanagh, it doesn't really feel this way. The issue I'm addressing is one that is very personal to me, and it is something I'm deeply passionate about. The lack of investment in Fermanagh is seeing it fall behind, and so many people, myself included, are affected. To begin with, Fermanagh has an extremely poor road infrastructure, which has continued to decline because of the lack of investment in the area, with little or no investment in the last 10 years, especially in comparison to the east of the ban. By allowing our roads to get worse, people's lives are being put at risk. Between January and September of 2022, seven people were killed in road-related accidents in the Fermanagh and Oma area. This was the second highest across Northern Ireland. Between January and September of 21, one person was killed in the Fermanagh and Oma area. So in the space of a year, the number of people killed in road-related accidents was 700% higher. And the question is, could any of these deaths even just one being avoided if our road infrastructure was of an acceptable standard. I'm sure many of you are aware of the All Island Strategic Rail Review, which is the introduction of railway services across the whole island of Ireland, intended to be a roadmap to bring the railways back to Ireland over the next 30 years. However, the name All Island seems inaccurate if not all counties are going to be included in the rail plan. Which county is not included? It's Fermanagh, of course. An online petition was produced calling for Fermanagh to be involved in the real plan, and 4,550 people have so far signed, myself included. The petition also notes that the highest number of responses to the previous consultation had in fact come from the Fermanagh Noma area. A government commission strategy singling out Fermanagh is proving that we have been facing neglect for decades. Our lack of transport affects us greatly. So a railway plan in Fermanagh would benefit us so much. We are already so rural, so having this railway would really connect us to the rest of Northern Ireland. With less than a mile of dual carriageway, the ability to do business in Fermanagh is greatly affected. Infrastructure creates industry. Businesses don't feel the need to invest in Fermanagh because there is no infrastructure. So people feel the need to move. I have a question for you. If you were from Fermanagh, would you stay? Because for so many, the answer is no. Why should someone stay in Fermanagh when they have the ability to move closer to Belfast, work for a huge company with a large paycheck? Why should someone stay in Fermanagh when our lack of transport leaves living here so expensive, having to pay for a car, the insurance and the fuel in this economy? Why should someone raise a family in Fermanagh when they know they must travel over an hour to reach an emergency, service to, emergency surgery department in either Derry or Craigavon? In 2012, Fermanagh was blessed to have a new hospital built to replace the, Ur the Urn Hospital, which had been in operation since 1948. The South West Acute Hospital has been so important in providing life-saving services and other services to not only Fermanagh, but the wider area. I, for one, am aware of the services provided by this hospital because on many occasions my grandfather was admitted and because of the services provided by the staff there, he lived a long life. The South West Acute Hospital provides a total of 64 services and each one of them is so important. However, we are, losing the threat, or we are facing the threat of losing our emergency surgery department. After hearing this news, I was not only shocked but confused. As we are over 60 minutes away from another hospital, I'm sure some of you are aware of the golden hour term, which is the term used in trauma or emergency care to suggest that an injured or sick person must receive definitive treatment within the first 60 minutes from the time of injury or appearance of symptoms. Yet we are over 60 minutes away from a hospital. Does this term not apply to the people of Fermanagh? Are we different from everyone else? The Northern Ireland Executive and the UK Government have committed a much needed £1.2 billion of capital funding over the next 15 years to four Northern Ireland city and growth deals. The money is being spent on improving innovation, tourism and digital factors, as well as enabling infrastructure. Fermanagh is involved in the Mid-South West Plan, which also involves Armagh City, Banbridge and Craigavon, Oma and Mid Ulster, and this area is receiving a sum of £252 million. Fermanagh, however, seems to be lacking in investment compared to other areas of the growth plan. 
The only factor being targeted in all of Fermanagh is tourism, compared to that of OMA, which is facing improving innovation, enabling infrastructure, and improving their tourism also. Although Fermanagh is involved in these plans, they are not being involved to the extent I, as well as so many others, wish to see. We can move to a higher level, level digitally if we have the chance to. Our infrastructure needs to be enabled, and we need the chance to innovate and change for the better, because we are already so far behind. My goal here today was to tell you all what the people of Fermanagh are facing. But we do actually have so much going for us, which investment could push to be truly amazing. The Biomethane project by NSERC, the glass production company, is presenting a real opportunity to decarbonise glass production and at the same time cut down or help with the emissions from agriculture. It is estimated that this project could, cut, could decarbonise 80% of the gas needed in the production and transportation of glass. This is so important for the people of Fermanagh and all of Northern Ireland. If we are capable of these types of plans, imagine what we could do with true investment and sufficient infrastructure. By 2048, what will Fermanagh look like? Really take the time to think about that. Will we only be seen as a brain train? Only a few weeks back, my history teacher asked our class, who wants to stay in Fermanagh? No one raised their hand. I would love to stay in Fermanagh, I really would. But I also want to live somewhere where I know transport is easily accessible and I can get from one place to another. I want to live somewhere where I'm within reasonable distance of an emergency surgery department. I want to live somewhere that is invested in. And at this moment in time, Fermanagh is not that place. I truly hope all of you here today hear my plea, my call for help, and the call for investment in Fermanagh.